If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. Tonight I will be doing the scripture on James chapter 4 verse 17. Have you done what you know to do? If this is something that you would like to listen to, please continue. It is never a minor thing to know God's will and not do it. God calls this sin. We can make excuses, our lack of obedience, saying things like, I'm just not ready yet, or I'll do it later, or I don't think it'll make a difference, or I can't afford to. We rationalize, we procrastinate, yet in God's eyes, rationalization and procrastination are nothing more than disobedience. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of our own blessing. At times we deceive ourselves into thinking that good intentions equal obedient actions. They do not. A good intention without corresponding activity is disobedience. When we encounter God and he gives us a direction, it is not enough to write down the date in our spiritual journal or even tell our friends in church of our decision. God's call is not to make a decision, but to obey. Deciding to obey is not equal to obeying. Matthews chapter 21 verse 28 through 31. Glory be to God. Loudly affirming the necessities of obedience is not the same as obeying. Luke chapter 6 verse 46. Jesus. Making commitments even publicly is not the same as obeying our Lord. Substituting our own good works is not the same as obeying. God told King Saul to wait until the prophet Samuel arrived. Instead of waiting, Saul took matters into his own hand and offered a sacrifice. Saul discovered to his deep dismay that other acts of supposed petty do not take the place of obeying a clear command from God. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 As with Saul, God expects you to obey everything exactly as he tells you. Only obedience satisfies God's desire for obedience. Have you ever been in a situation where you had this vision, I would call it, and God told you to, you know, go talk to this person or go help this person or go do this or go give this person a ride. I was come. I was in college then. I was heading. I was at um, University of Phoenix. I was heading home. I went to college at nighttime. I took night nighttime classes. And uh, I don't think I brought a snack or something. I just had got a drink or something out the machine for class that night. So I was really hungry on my way home. So on my way home, I stopped at a Waffle House. And when I went into the Waffle House, I sat down and I ordered my food and I was listening. It was this young lady there and she was asking everybody for a ride in the Waffle House. Now, some people may say, I don't know that person. I'm not going to get him a ride. But when when God call you, excuse me, when God call you to do something, you will not be afraid to do it. You will not be scared. Trust and believe me. So as I ordered my food, you know, I told the young lady, I said, oh, where do you live? She told me where she live. I said, that's right across the street from my neighborhood where I live at. I said, I'll give you a ride. And some people may think, oh, you know, a woman look innocent. When you have God, grace and mercy over you and his wisdom and knowledge and his protection, you won't be worrying about uh, what this person might do to you or I'm scared to give them a ride. 
So I gave this young lady a ride home. Yes, I did indeed. Glory be to God because she was stranded. Okay. And she was just in the Waffle House asking everybody and everybody kept denying her of a way to get home. I don't know her circumstances, how she got way up there where she was at because she was about, mm, I say about 20, about 20, 15 to 20 minutes away from where she lived there. And walking distance, it probably would have been way longer. But glory be to God, I did give her a ride home. And I say all of that to say this, when God calls you, please do not be disobedient because if you do, he will compel you to serve. Amen. Okay, now I'm going to go and read James chapter uh, 4 verse 17. And it says, we tend to think that doing wrong is a sin. But James tells us that the sin is also not doing right. These two kinds of sin are sometimes called sins of commission and sins of omission. It is a sin to lie. It can also be a sin to know the truth and not tell it. It is a sin to speak evil of someone. It is also a sin to avoid him or her when you know he or she needs your friendship. We should be willing to help as the Holy Spirit guides us. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. If God has directed you to do a kind act, as I stated before, to render a service or to restore a relationship, do it. You will experience a renewed and refreshed vitality to your Christian faith. Glory be to God. Amen to that. So I would like to send you peace and blessings. You all have a safe and prosperous night. Love and hug on your loved ones. And I will see you guys in the next one.